What's up guys, Justin here with the CGessentials.com back with another Blender add-on tutorial for you. So in today's video, we're gonna talk about an add-on that's already built into Blender that allows us to add dimensions to our models. So let's go ahead and just jump into it. All right, so this add-on is already built into Blender. So all you have to do, at least in version 2.8 and above, is go in and enable it, or you're gonna to go to Edit, Preferences, and you're gonna look for Measure It. So Measure It, is going to be in this list, you can check the box in order to get that to show up. And so we can access measure it by tapping the in key and going to our view section of the uh, little pop out toolbar that shows up in here. And if you scroll down, there's a little drop down for measure it tools. So I'm gonna minimize this and we'll go down to measure it tools right here. And so what measure it does is it contains a tool set that allows you to add dimensions to your models inside of Blender. And so the way that it works is you wanna start by clicking on this button for show. So that's gonna enable this. Um, if you click it again later, and we'll talk about this in a minute, it'll hide everything that's in your viewport. But generally speaking, you're gonna add your measurements inside of edit mode. So to get to edit mode, we're just gonna hit the tab key and let's say that we wanted to add a dimension line for this edge right here, right? So I've tapped the two key on my keyboard so that I'm in edge select mode and I've selected this edge. Well, you can add a measurement using these tools right here, so the add measures tools. So for example, you can use this to measure based on the X, Y, or Z axes. You can also, and I use this one the most, you can also add a measurement for a segment just by single clicking right here. And so when I single click on segment, what you're gonna notice is you're gonna notice that you get a little drop down for items. And so items is going to allow you to control the precision as well as things like the units. So I can set my units in here to automatic, I can set it to centimeters, millimeters, really whatever I want. In this case, I'm gonna set it to inches, but then you can also adjust your precision so you can adjust how precise this is with the little um, slider right here or the little uh, bar right here. You can also set if you show or hide your unit. And then you can also do some things with setting it to scale, which I'm not gonna mess around with too much in this video. But then down below, there's also an option for adjusting the format. So you can adjust the color. So let's say we wanted this to be white. You could make this white right here. You could also click on the little gear and it allows you to adjust the size of the font. So you can make these bigger, smaller, you can adjust if it's rotated, as well as moving it so that you can adjust where this shows up on your screen. And that's one thing to be aware of is the number right here is going to face your screen no matter what. So notice how this is acting as kind of like a, uh, almost like a billboard. Well, if we were to go into a front view like this, Notice how this is showing up with that length in here. So you can adjust your font size. You can also set if there's arrows on the end of your measurements. So like I could add a triangle arrow right here on each one of these in order to show my measurements. So you can use this to add multiple different measurements at once. So let's say that I wanted to add a measurement here and here. I could just activate the segment option right here, and that's gonna add these in here as segments. So it's gonna apply these lines inside of my model. And so all of these are editable. So I can adjust them individually. I can also show or hide them by clicking the little eye icon right here. And so not only can you use this to add dimensions that show lengths inside of your model, you can also show things like areas. So let's say for example, that for this face, we wanted to show the area of the face. Well, we could select the face and then click on the option for area. And what that's gonna do is that's gonna shade this in and it's also gonna give me the area of the face. So you can do this for multiple different faces if you want to. And you can go down and you can adjust these just like we have everything else. So you could adjust like um, where this is gonna show up on your screen. You can adjust the fill color as well as the text color separately for each one of these. So in addition to being able to measure lengths of edges, you can also, inside of edit mode, measure the distance between vertices. So if I go into edit mode, I go into vertex select mode, and do a shift click to select this vertex and this vertex, 
I can add a segment measurement between those two vertices in here. So not only can you measure existing lines that are in here, you can also measure the distance between different points inside of your model. And so one thing to be aware of is let's say that you get to a point where you don't like some of these, you can delete them out just by scrolling down and looking at this list and deleting things. You can also click on the button for delete all to get rid of all of the measurements at once. So if you have way too many measurements in here and you just want to start over, you can do that as well. So in addition, you can also add labels to different things. So you can select a vertex like this point, for example, I can add a label Then I could add a note in here if I want. So whatever I name this, so we'll just call this label, that text is then going to show up in here. So you can use this to add notes to your objects inside of Blender as well. So you can also do this from an overall standpoint. And so you can also add an annotation based on wherever your 3D cursor is. So let's say, for example, that we wanted to add an and add an annotation about my Bonnie model. So I could just move my 3D cursor over here just by doing a shift right click. And then I can click on annotation and I can add a note that has the text in it for Bonnie. So then I can adjust that text however I want. Move it around. So now I'm able to add a note based on a point inside of my model. So you can add notes in addition to being able to add measurements. Then you can also measure between the origin of different objects inside of object mode. So if I was to select this, do a shift click, and then click on the button for origin, that's gonna measure the distance between the origin points in here. So if you ever need to like approximate a distance or something like that, you can use this in order to get that really quickly. And then overall, so if I was to tab in here, and let's say I was to select, we'll do an alt click, and we'll select this whole thing. So I can add measurements to all of these at once. But let's say that I wanted to keep my measurements, but I didn't want to see them, right? So I wanted them to be in here, but I don't want them getting in the way. Well, what I can do is I can click on this hide button in order to hide all of the measurements. So you can click on this button right here in order to enable or disable measure it tools inside of your viewport. So this can obviously give you some dimensioning ability inside of Blender. I would say the one thing that's still missing that I'm hoping that we'll see in the future is the ability to print from a Blender model. Because I think everyone right now pretty much recommends that you export and then print from another program. I would love to see something come out where you could actually print from a Blender model, but I'm not seeing it yet. Hopefully that's something we'll see in the future. But leave a comment below. Let me know what you think about this tool, uh, what you think about using Blender for architectural applications. I just love having that conversation with you guys. If you like this video, please remember to click that like button down below. If you're new around here, remember to click that subscribe button for new Blender content every week. As always, thank you so much for taking the time to watch this. I really appreciate it, and I will catch you in the next video. Thanks, guys.